seven things I've never seen before I came to the USA. These kind of videos are always interesting. Really like looking at these videos of uh, people seeing things that they've never seen before. They go to America and they don't expect what they're about to see. Let's jump into this one and check this out, man. Hey, do you think we could stop at an ATM? I need to get some cash. Yep, yeah, sure. There's one right over there, actually. And here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Am I tripping? Am I... Does she have like a twin sister? Or this is like... Is this edited? Here, give me your card. Wait, what is this place? Hmm? Yo, am I tripping? Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Felicia. I'm originally from Munich, Germany, but since the fall of 2016, I've mainly been living here in Cincinnati, Ohio. And during that time, I've had lots of experiences with cultural differences, as you guys know, since that's what this channel is mainly about. Hey, I just can't get out of my head. That was good editing, man. That actually, I actually thought that was two different people from like the thumbnail. And some of those experiences were situations where I was like, what? is that right or what is this thing for which often made me sound like a little child discovering the world for the first time that's cool but that's pretty much what it was because there were quite a few things that i had never seen in my 22 years of living in germany and that's what this video is going to be about so i think this is what would be really cool about going to america right is being shocked at what you see i feel like that's the fun part of it right here are seven things i've never seen before i came to the u.s it's different yeah, this is my first thing on my list I've is seen about this. ATMs. And before I continue, <laughs> I just want to give a disclaimer for the whole video. These are my personal experiences. I'm sure uh, some of these things do exist in Germany somewhere. I'm sure there is a drive through ATM somewhere. But yo, definitely not in the UK. I've never ever seen or heard of a drive through ATM. I personally, growing up in Munich, I had never seen that before I came to the US. And here, it's a pretty common thing, just like anything drive through in the US. Yo, I've learned that America has drive through everything. I, but that's sick because you don't want to get out of your car. Just. You know, just drive through, get, grab, go, boom. Drive through pharmacies, coffee shops, liquor stores. Mad. And I've heard that Mad. there's even a drive through wedding chapel in Las Vegas. Yo. So just a couple <laughs> weeks after I first came to Cincinnati for my exchange <laughs> semester in 2016, I was in the car with a few friends. I gotta know, do you guys, any Americans is watching this, right? Have you guys ever heard of anybody actually doing a drive through wedding chapel? Bro, like what? What, in, in what world would you want to get married at a drive-thru? <laughs> and we were on our way to this event hosted by the university with a concert and food trucks. And we wanted to get some cash before we got there. So my friend said we're stopping by an ATM on the way there. And I was mind blown when we pulled into this drive-thru <laughs> ATM a few minutes later. And we could get cash without Mad. even leaving our car. I was like, wow, Americans really don't like to walk. I had <laughs> never gotten cash from a car before, but since then I've done it many times myself. And I do have to say it is very convenient. Of course it's better, right? Nobody wants to get out of their car and do anything. But if you could just drive, pull up and just get some cash and go, that's good. But don't you guys have like, isn't this more common? Because don't you guys use cash more than us? Like, we use card a lot, and I've heard that, like, Americans tend to use a lot of cash and checks and stuff like that. People with traffic lights. The second point on my list has to do with driving as well, and that's because people just drive a lot more in the U.S. than they right. do in Germany, especially compared to more urban areas in Germany. Okay. Here in the U.S., except for major cities like New York, cars are the main way of getting around. Yo, in no way. She's about to tell us the shock was people's stat like sat in traffic lights. Distances are long because this is just a huge country. Public transportation is pretty poor or doesn't exist at right. all. And people can drive at the age of 16, which is pretty important here because in most places you really wouldn't be able to get around otherwise and you would be dependent on your parents forever. Makes so sense. I knew that it, uh, you guys were driving at 16 because like, when you see like the TV shows of like high schools and stuff, you see them driving there and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> What's going on? It's very common in the US to drive everywhere and even in bigger cities here in the Midwest, 
like Cincinnati, you won't see many people walk or take a bike or public transportation. And right. with that also comes that you'll see people stand at stoplights, sometimes even in the middle of the street on the median with a sign held up. And when I first saw that, I automatically thought it was a hitchhiker. So I was like, wow, there's lots of hitchhikers in Cincinnati until I realized that they were really homeless people and on the signs they were describing their situation and oh. asking for money. So okay. what you'll see is that when a driver is waiting at a red light and wants to give them money, they'll just roll down their window and the person will walk up to the car and take it. And of oh, course, wow. it's not like I had never seen homeless people. So it's more like not stopping at traffic lights, but it's more like you guys have a lot more homeless people that would tend to be at the traffic lights. And if you want to give them money when you stop at traffic lights, you'll roll down and give them money. Okay. Okay. See, that's something that I've known for a while or like what it seems like that America has a lot more homeless people, especially than the UK. In the UK, you're just going to see homeless people in like the city centers. They're going to be sat down on like front of porches or whatnot. And then you can give money vice versa, whatever. Not vice versa, but <laughs> bad choice of word. But you can give them money or, or food or whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, you, you never see them coming to your cars. Or people asking for money in Germany. But in Munich, you'll usually see them on the sidewalks, in the pedestrian area, in subway stations, or wherever people might walk by rather than at stoplights. What are cousins? Huh? With that, let's move on to the third thing on my list that I had never seen before I came to the US, and that is koozies. They look like this and are a pretty normal household item here. Huh? I'd say most people have at least one of these at home. Many people have dozens of these at home, but I... Per what, is it like a cup warmer? Personally had never seen that before I came here, and I had no clue what they were for when I first saw them. But as you can see, I do have some koozies myself now, because right. they're a pretty popular giveaway item and and merch item. And they're mostly used when people drink beer or other alcohol. You put your can or a bottle in this thing and that way your drink stays cool, especially in the summer. I've actually ah. mentioned koozies in my video on alcohol culture. And in that video, I said that they keep your hand from getting cold since drinks here are usually extremely cold. Yo, are they actually that good? Because I would love one of them. Like if I could pull it on my can and it will keep the can cold. Are they actually good? And I said that because that's the only reason I've ever used them. But the official purpose is actually to keep your hand from warming up the drink and not the other way around. So I just want to get that straight. Oh. Why don't we have them in Germany? I'm not 100% sure, but I'd assume that it's because we're not afraid of our drinks getting warm as much as Americans are. And we also don't drink out of cans a lot. And <laughs> afraid. <laughs> I can just imagine Americans now just freaking out that their cans just got warm. And I believe that cans warm up faster than bottles. Right. Now, that'd be cool, though. That'd be cool. I don't know why we don't have them here, because everybody likes cold drinks. Like, we're acting like people around the world don't like cold drinks as much as Americans. We definitely... I love cold drinks. Pencil sharpeners on the wall. This one I actually didn't really notice until 2018 when I got my master's at the University of Cincinnati and taught German there at the same time. Because when I did my exchange semester in 2016, I never actually had a class in a normal classroom because the program was called Electronic Media and I mostly just took video and audio production classes that were taught more in a studio setting. But then right. when I taught German two years later, my classes took place in normal standard classrooms and that's when I noticed these things on the Walls. Huh? Most classrooms have one of these attached to the wall, and I was completely lost at first as to what this is until I saw it use it for the first time. <laughs> yeah, I kid you not. If I was there, I would actually fit. It, it would probably be smaller, so I wouldn't if I was there, but from the looks of it, it looks like black toilet roll. You got the little handle. Yo, wait, toilet roll don't have handle. But you, you know what I'm saying. And it's a pencil sharpener. And before you ask, yes, we do have pencil sharpeners in Germany too, but it's not very common for German students to write with a pencil in school. I've actually talked a little more about that Wait, in what? What this you write video. With? And therefore, pencil sharpeners aren't really a thing that students need after elementary school. Wait, and what do you write with? In elementary school, I've never seen a pencil sharpener on the wall in Germany. The students just have their own sharpeners. Again, I'm sure somewhere in Germany you can find these on the wall too, or maybe it used to be 
a thing back in the day. I know, like, you can write with pens, right? But don't you, like, colour? Like, in school, don't you use, like, pencils and crayons and stuff like that? You need to sharpen them? Huh? But I personally had never seen this item before I came to the US. And here, it seems to be a pretty standard thing in classrooms. Spray anything. Oh, okay. Whether I've seen spray cheese. Spray butter, spray Ugh. oil, or even Ugh. spray cheese. Ugh. Americans have some interesting food items here that I had definitely never seen before. Spray me. And especially the spray stuff threw me off a little in the beginning. Spray butter and spray oil are things that I've seen in a lot of American households. Maybe that's just. Yeah, I've seen. I know she's saying a lot of people have spray cheese, but I've done a video on spray cheese before, like it was included. And I seen the comments and a lot of people were saying they never had like spray cheese or they don't have spray cheese or whatever. Apparently it's not good. I don't know. You guys can tell me more if, if, if you actually do have it. If you do not spray butter, I can see that being okay. Um, Just I don't know what other sprays you have here though. of fat here. And people think that with regular butter and oil, they're going to get too much of it. I'm not sure. But again, I've never seen that in Germany. And to most Europeans I've talked to, that seems pretty unnecessary. Yeah, we I don't mean, have any sprays. Why stuff. not use your regular oil and butter? And the sprayed cheese, I don't even know what to say to that. But in general, there's lots of... Yo, spray butter could actually work. That could actually work. Like if it's, if it's the same as like the butter in the tubs... You don't have to put the knife in and spread it. You're just, yo, that'd be good. Things that Americans call if cheese it tastes the same. that aren't actually cheese. So that's just something that I had to get used to. Wait, what? That aren't that, but in general, there's lots of things that Americans call cheese that aren't actually cheese. So that's just something that I had to get used to. Oh, you guys got to explain this one. What are you calling cheese that isn't cheese? What? So, like, if I go to America and I get something with cheese, I might get something else that isn't cheese. Dual wheels. This is something you see on the streets a lot that I feel like is probably not even allowed in Germany. And it's these huge pickup trucks with dual wheels in the back. In general, there are a lot of pickup trucks on American streets compared to Germany and just so many huge cars. Is it mainly for like off-roading? And SUVs that wouldn't even fit through all the streets in Germany. Yeah, in the UK the as dual well. dual wheels really are something that to me seems like the epitome of this whole land of extremes vibe of the US. <laughs> And I often even see this in the city where it doesn't even seem like the person actually needs a truck, let alone dual wheels. So I guess some people just... Hey, a truck is always handy. And even if you don't need the use of a truck, they're badass, man. Like if you're in my Twitch, like in my streams, and you, um, we've been talking about cars and stuff recently, I would love to have like my, my, my dream cars kind of, like realistic kind of, is a Tesla. I'd love to have a Tesla, really like Tezzas. But I'd also like a um one of those like blacked out trucks without the back. You don't really see them much in the UK. You do in America, so you probably know what I'm on about. But they are. So I would never use the back, ever. But they're so sexy. Have it because they can. Beaters. And the last point on my list has to do with cars again. And this one goes back to the fact that in Ohio and most other states, they don't have car inspections that your car has to pass in order to keep the registration. In Germany, we Flat have a pretty strict inspection every two years called TÜV. And that's the reason why you hardly ever see damaged cars on German streets. Maybe oh, wait, really? All right, so in the UK, every single year, you have to do this thing called an MOT. And you take it to the garage they check over it check over the car if there's anything wrong they'll let you know and then you'll arrange to like sort it out if there's nothing wrong all go but you have to do that you can't can't be on the road without an mot so that's interesting in america you don't have to do that you'll see a dent here and there or some rust but in the us you'll see beaters so broken cars all the time you what? know cars that look like they just got out of an accident where there is the bumper missing or half of the hood or the side mirror and that was definitely something that shocked me in the beginning to see cars like that on the highway because it's just not something you'll ever see Yo, in germany i'm just imagining like a load of americans just driving like cars like it's moving like a horse or something like you got the tire coming off door coming off windows shattered you got the bonnet just lifted right <laughs> That was my list of things I have never seen before I that came was to the US. Fun, 
Of course, these were just a few points of many. So let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Yeah, good video. Enjoyed that. I would love just to come to America and just like just experience new things and see different things and unusual things. That'd be really dope. If you guys got any ideas of what you think you guys do over there that you don't think we do here, uh, let me know in the comment section. Also, let me know any of your opinions to any of these points in the comments as well. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash Alfred G. You guys want to head over there, talk to me live. They have been fun recently. A lot of you guys have been coming over. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.